is Dr. Savir Rao and we're talking about peripheral nerve stimulation. Peripheral nerve stimulation is a new FDA approved modality to treat chronic pain that is not responded to medications, injections, physical therapy, and even surgery. Or if you're not a found to be a surgical candidate, then stimulation may be another option. It's great to treat chronic shoulder pain, chronic groin pain, or chronic knee pain. The idea behind peripheral nerve stimulation is we're able to identify the specific nerve or nerves that are causing this ongoing nerve pain. So sharp, stabbing, burning, throbbing type of pain can respond to peripheral nerve stimulation. The first part of this is identifying the body part or the nerve that's causing the problem. In the shoulder, we can target the suprascapular or axillary nerve. In the groin area, we can target the ilioinguinal nerve and in the knees, we can target the genicular nerve. Once we target these nerves, we can do an anesthetic block by anesthetizing that nerve under x-ray or ultrasound guidance to see how much relief you get. If you get good relief, then it's safe to say that that's where the pain is coming from. The next step is to do a trial or a test drive to see if this peripheral nerve stimulation can actually give you the type of relief you're looking for. We want 50% or better pain relief. The trial itself is just conducted through a needle, no incisions, no sutures. We access uh, the area through a needle. We thread the electrode, which has electrical contacts on it, through the needle and take the needle out and we secure the electrode to the skin. We leave that in place for about three to five days to see if this is gonna give you 50% or better relief. We're looking for improvement in pain as well as functionality. At the end of that trial period, you come back into the office, we take the tape off, we slide the wire or wires out, and we see how much better you feel. If that gave you 50% better relief and in functionality as well as pain, then we can move forward with the permanent implantation. Now, those of you who are familiar with spinal cord stimulators or even pacemakers may be familiar with this concept. It usually requires some type of battery or generator to be hooked up to electrodes or wires. In this scenario, the peripheral nerve stimulator that we're using is about this big as far as how big the receiver is. And that's what gets implanted under the, the skin close to where the wire and the electrode get implanted to stimulate the specific nerves we're talking about. That's a 20 to 30 minute outpatient surgery and has been uh, working extremely well for many patients. If you're interested, come in and give us a call. Come in and talk to us about peripheral nerve stimulation. Okay, then I want to answer this question, which uh, was, what's the difference between peripheral nerve stimulation and spinal cord stimulation? Spinal cord stimulation is specifically for patients who have not responded to surgery, injections, physical therapy, um, and and it's meant for more of the lower back and leg symptoms and chronic burning, throbbing, shooting type of pain. Uh, peripheral nerve stimulation, on the other hand, is specifically targeting nerves uh, that are affecting joints or specific areas. So the suprascapular nerve in the shoulder, or the axillary nerve in the shoulder, the ilioinguinal nerve in the groin, and uh, the genicular nerve around the knee. Uh, so we can do a diagnostic injection where we can numb up the nerve, maybe use even a little bit of steroid to see if that'll help decrease inflammation. And if that gives you good relief, then uh, we're good. If it's temporary relief, then we could follow that up with a peripheral nerve stimulator trial, which is uh, putting in a, an electrode around those nerves, targeting that either under x-ray or ultrasound, and leaving that in for about three to five days to see how much relief you get. That part is similar to a spinal cord stimulator trial where we leave these electrodes in and test to see if this is helpful. We're looking for about 50% improvement. If you get 50% improvement, then we can go ahead and go to permanent implantation. Uh, next question was, is this covered by Medicare and other insurances? It is covered by Medicare. It is covered by most commercial insurances um, and maybe even some Medicaid's. We have to get authorization, but each policy is different. So we would go through the process of uh, submitting for authorization. Next question is, is there any scar tissue? Uh, there's very limited scar tissue. This is a very superficial procedure. So it is uh, placing an electrode, which is uh, the thickness of um, you know, maybe uh, thick pasta. Uh, and um, it, it, we tunnel it and we place it with an, uh, a needle 
and uh, we secure that to the skin. So there's not a whole lot of scar tissue that develops or scarring that develops during the trial. During the permanent implant, everything gets internalized. Uh, you'll have a small scar, maybe have a small scar around the incision site, which is about an inch big. Let's see, other questions. All right, well, thank you for joining us. And um, if you have any questions, you know, you can always contact the office and, and, uh, and uh, schedule an appointment. Oh, wait, one more question. Another question about previous scar tissue. Uh, if you have scar tissue in those areas, then we can identify that and try to get around the scar tissue. That's usually not a problem. Uh, it's different than with a spinal cord stimulator. Uh, this is more peripheral and more superficial. So we have a little more access and ability to get around scar tissue altogether. But once again, we can talk about that if, um, um, if you're interested and we can discuss more in the office. All right, well, thank you all for joining and um, have a great day. And you know, we can follow up in the office as you need.